right on track. So Aaron said a question about my website. How much text is too much? <clears throat> um, what has you asked the question, Aaron? So um, it's my first attempt at a website for this particular business that I'm doing. I um, help uh, creative empaths get out of emotional survival mode so they can do their work. Um, and I went through a bunch of your material and the first iteration of it, the opening thing about them was pretty short. Um, and then, I don't know, I, I saw something else you did and I, I got inspired and I ended up writing like a fucking manifesto, you know, that's like more than just why they want to get from Island A to Island B. It's like, why they're creative people and what their role in the world is and so that's kind of where i'm at and it just seems really long and it will definitely weed out people who aren't my clients but i'm just um yeah now i'm confused sure okay so th this is the age-old question and debate and copywriting how much text is too much the the fundamental thing I would say is it's the wrong question to start with. Clarity before brevity. Okay. This is the most important thing. I like that. Yeah, clarity before brevity and clarity before poetry. Clarity uh. before creativity. <laughs> the most important thing is that it's clear that people get what the hell we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, the, the length in a lot of ways sorts itself out just by aiming at clarity. Mm -hmm. But okay, so that's one thing. Clarity is most important. Second is it's not really about length. It's also about placement. I mean, if everything is on one long scrolling page and you have 200 pages of scrolling, that's hard, of course. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you have that same 200 pages turned into blog posts and articles and mm -hmm. a philosophy page and are we a fit page and you see what I'm saying that same amount of text where everything is in the right place and everything can be found at the right moment for the right occasion primo so then that's part of it is you have all that text but then you can put it in different parts of your website and you just make sure everything is very well interlinked so that when people need to find that thing, you know, it's like, if you want to know about my childhood, click here. And then boom, there's this piece about your childhood, if that was relevant. Or, um, you know, if you want to know my definition of empath, click here, boom, I can take them to that. Mm -hmm. And then I've had, I remember when I first launched my website, I did the interlinking hardcore in the very beginning. And people say, Tad, I have like 28 tabs on your, from your website open. And it wasn't, they weren't complaining. They were just like, wow there were that many relevant things that they opened up mm -hmm. so it was like here was a series of rabbit holes to dive down okay so number one clarity more important number two placement the context of where they find it is more important and then in terms of length you know it's the goldilocks thing there is such a thing as too long but the too long is usually more like we now have some chaff you know we got some just uh padding Mm -hmm. filler that we don't need it uh so there's such things too long but there's also such things too short and both affect the clarity if it gets too long people lose the clear clarity but if it's too short people don't understand enough so we really want to um uh we're just aiming for that middle road and sometimes what we have to do is you write a lot put it in a drawer and forget about it for a month and I mean, I'm literally printed off. I'm saying it's helpful. You can, the screen can, I think, hurt or comprehend. Mm -hmm. But then you take it out and read it over pen, pen in hand. And you, and you just think, okay, what can I trim? What can I combine? Where am I restating myself? And just be ruthless with it. But also, does this all need to be on this page? Or could I move this bit here, this bit here? And what we're going for is not, um, we're going for an ecosystem. Yeah, our own ecosystem on our website where everything has a place and belongs somewhere where they and they can find it easily. Um, and the ease of finding things is not a small thing. There was a woman who asked me to be an affiliate for her. This is 10 years ago. And she was doing this amazing work. It was permaculture, spirituality, decolonization. It was just all my favorite things kind of in one. Mm -hmm. 
But when I went into the back end of her affiliate thing to find things, like where's my swipe copy, where's the links, and how do I see how many sales I you know put through, it was impenetrable. She had it labeled like the river, the ocean, a field, tree. And I, I was like, and I and I was so stressed out. I was so overwhelmed just with other things in my life. I was just almost weeping. I'm like, I want, I want to help you and you're killing me right now. Don't make it hard. When people show up at our website, here's how you design your website. Imagine that everyone who shows up at your website is on the verge of having a nervous breakdown. So I, there's somebody who's on my my uh, payroll who I need to pay with uh, wise. She's living in Austria. So I got to send money to her. And I can't tell you how frustrating it's been trying to set up wise. And how genuinely there's that feeling of just like, I'm about to cry. I'm so fucking frustrated because the instructions make no sense to me. And, you know, you can hit tilt and that overwhelm thing. We never, ever, ever want that to happen on our website. Yeah, we never want to put them in tilt because the confused mind says no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if they ever get confused and confusion can come from too little or too much. So, I mean, this is the art. This is why copywriters often get paid an insane amount of money because the good ones know how to just like, let's get to the point. Ah, the other thing. So there's Brett, there's the clarity as a thing. There's the placement of it. There's certainly some, some ruthless editing and trimming down, sure, or padding up if needed. But there's also sequence, which is so big. The exact same text in the wrong sequence will have a dramatically different impact. Like if you save the headline for like three thirds through, three thirds through at the end, um, two thirds through, three, three quarters, I mixed it. Yeah, if you do that, well, then the relevance isn't established. Mm -hmm. People start reading just with your point of view, but they don't know what the point of view is pertaining to. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're lost right away. So the sequence of things matters. And so what does that mean? It means we start with the relevance first. We just aim at island A, island B, or if you have products, here's my products, here's the photos. And then it's credibility. That's most of it, is making the case for the certain approach that you're taking. Uh, and or you've done such a good job of building a relationship and building that credibility over time that it doesn't all need to be in the sales letter, but you know they're showing up already trusting you. But still, the credibility is sort of then implied, imported, and still you're making the case for a certain approach. And then there's the value. And we do have to make a case for here's why I think it's worth the money. Yeah, at a certain point on a sales letter. So does does that help at all? Mm -hmm, it does. I don't know. It could I put it in the chat and could you take a look at it maybe? Um I don't think we're gonna have time to okay. All right. yeah. um, to get a puttering with you. Yeah, I know this helps. Um yeah. People Thank think you. people get um really torn up on the 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 length thing. And they think oh, I just have to make it smaller, smaller, smaller. But here's the last thought I'll leave you with uh confounding as it is. The longer the sales letter, the better it will sell, usually. Mm -hmm. why well it depends what it is but because people if it's a really especially if it's a bigger investment that's the other thing is this a 25 dollar thing you don't need to write a 10 page sales letter mm -hmm. is this something dealing with childhood trauma mm -hmm. well, they're going to need at least a 10 page sales letter mm -hmm. they might need to read a whole book of yours to trust you enough yeah so it's so the the length people think oh the shorter it is the better it'll work and the same way that people think, oh, if it's cheaper, it'll sell better. And neither of those are a given. Neither of those necessarily true. Yeah, it makes me realize that um, since it is longer, and if I stick with a slightly longer thing, that it, like in a book, it need, might need like section headings, you know? So not saying relevance, credibility, and value, but saying in a sentence or something, you know, what this section is going to deal with, like, I don't know if that makes sense to you. It makes sense in my head. Like that kind of guides them through the page. Sure. You can do that too. As long as it's easy for them. That's what yeah, we yeah, want. Yeah. The experience mm -hmm. needs to be easy. Yeah. yeah.
Great. Thank you. You're welcome.